you guys. This is Laura Barrett. I did a video yesterday on the eyebrows and what came in the kudos yesterday, but I ended up not liking it, so I deleted it. So I have time today to do a full face, so I'm going to do that, and then I will go ahead and do the eyebrows and talk about the kudos then. So basically all I've done so far is I've primed because they say it's a crime if you don't prime and basically the primer goes on and it kind of fills in your pores and smooths everything out. Hello my darling Tanya. So once you apply your makeup, one, everything isn't going into your pores and the other is that it just protects your face from all the bad environment that we are exposed to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a full face. I normally don't have time to do that. I usually do like a quick five minute face, but um, pop on, say hi, let me know what you're doing. And it's a gorgeous day today. The sun is out and it's just, it's awesome here. So I think after today it's supposed to get cruddy. So Tanya, how was your trip? I haven't even talked to you. Hey Heidi. So my cousin is on here and I have to tell you about our little scare that we had and Heidi you'll probably be, <laughs> you'll understand what I'm talking about. But um, hey Donna, so my cousin got married about a month ago and my husband, oh this is just the liquid foundation by the way, my husband was asked to record the wedding which of course he said he would. So he recorded the wedding and then we got to the reception and we were filming you know stuff at the reception just family friends people there <laughs> and then towards the end of the night we did the cake so you know we were recording the cake and it was getting dark and so i always put the foundation on my eyelids too just so it i can bring it down and pull everything down on my below my eyes so it's all smooth and blends in and I always pull it down to your neck too um, but yeah, so it was getting dark and so my husband's like, well, I'm going to go ahead and put the video camera away because it's too dark to film. And I said, yeah, that's fine. So he puts it in the bag and he says, um, well, I'm going to put it over where we were sitting because I'm kind of worried about, Hey Angie, I'm kind of worried about the, you know, the camera. And I said, no, that's fine. And so we get it loaded up once the wedding's over and I don't know, so a couple weeks ago, no, it was last week, my cousin messages me and says, hey, do you know where the camera is by chance because it's not in the camera bag? So Mike and I are like, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, you're sweet, Angie. Thank you. Oh, he didn't load it last night? Okay. Um, but so my husband was like, I know I put it in the bag and he goes, as soon as the car was backed up, I put it, I put it in the back of the car cause I was worried about the camera, you know, and I, I was worried about, you know, leaving it out. I'm using concealer cause I have a blemish. So I'm using a darker color than my regular foundation. And then I'll show you guys the highlighter. Like I said, I usually don't have time to do all this stuff, but I do. So let's do it. Hey, Carissa. Anyway, so my husband and I were kind of freaking out. We're like, oh my gosh, where's the camera? What happened to it? You know, whatever. And we're like, okay, it's got to be somewhere. You know, somebody took it out of the bag. It's in the house, whatever. So my cousin just looked the other night and the camera has been found. It's fine. It was in the tripod bag, not the camera bag. So life is good. We can breathe. <laughs> Hopefully the video turns out okay, because that was the other thing. Mike was worried that the video weren't, wouldn't turn out, but I think it'll be just fine. So this, this is highlighter. So for all of you ladies with dark circles, you want to do, I always do a shade that's two shades lighter than my foundation. And then you just put a little bit of brightening up here on your nose and on your chin. And then I'm taking a damp blending bud. And you don't want it soaking wet, obviously, and you don't want it dry, because if it's dry, then, hey Casey, then it'll absorb all the product. I love it that you guys are popping on. That's awesome. This time seems to work for me on Tuesdays and Thursdays because I work from home and I can do them before Mike gets home and it's light. So the light coming in the window is good. I think last night it was too dark and I just had my screen or my light for my mirror on and it was like too close or it was showing all my my blemishes, I don't know what the deal was, but I watched it and I was like, nope, delete. <laughs> it's 
So this just highlights some certain areas. And then when I, I'm gonna go in with my bronzer and I'm going to um, put some bronzer on here for defining my face. And so I'm gonna put some of that on my nose and then I'll put it on my forehead. But this area, these, these areas just get brightened. And don't ask me why, that's just what they say to do. And you can use a brush too, but these blending buds work super easy. And, um, hey Denny, oh my gosh, I want to talk to you. How are you doing after the pretzel? Like did pretzel make it to its new home safe and are you guys doing good? Um, these blending buds you can get off my website, but they're, they're pretty pricey. So they're very good blending buds, but, um, so like this is one of them off my website. But you guys can get blending buds anywhere so I'm not saying you have to get the ones from my website so these just blend everything in and you don't I don't know if you guys have noticed I'm not pulling I'm dabbing can you tell that that kind of highlighted those areas so now I'm gonna go in with my pressed powder I always like just press powder after my foundation to go over those areas that I just highlighted And my nose because I always get really dry in the t-zone so put a little put a little powder there and we're good okay so this is the bronzer and this is what I contour with they do have a contour kit which is really nice but I love the bronzer it just reminds me of summer and in fact I'm listening to Lake Life Radio right now because it's a beautiful fall day, the sun's out, it reminds me of summer, and summer went by way too fast, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, I'm listening to Lake Radio. Okay, so what they say when you contour, you do like a three and an E, so you wanna do it in these three areas. So this just defines your face, and it's supposed to hide, you know, if you have a thicker chin and neck like myself. I'm okay with myself, you just gotta work with it. And then you go along the forehead and down and around. But see, so it's the three and the E. That may be backwards for you guys, but it just gives you some color and I love it. Bronzer's just pretty and I enjoy it. Next is blush. I have a couple different colors, but this is seductive. This is my favorite. So pretty. And these are really pigmented, so you don't need a lot. I just dab a little bit on there and, you know, just give you some color to your cheeks. What's everybody up to this week? Anything exciting? I'm working and what do I have going on? I have a couple dinners. We're going to my in-laws to dinner tonight. I didn't put the... I didn't put the bronzer on my nose. Uh, we're gonna go to my in-laws for dinner tonight and then we have another dinner date. Oh, Thursday night we're watching football and having a friend over for dinner. That's about all I have going on. So if you have anything interesting, if you guys have exciting lives, please share, because I just love to, to know what you guys are doing. Where you're from, what do you do? What's your favorite season? Do you guys like pumpkin spice lattes? I've never had one, so I don't know if they're any good. I don't know why, I've just never, never bothered to try one. I am going to use one of my new splurge cream shadows. If you guys watched my video the other day, this is bittersweet. I love that color, it is so pretty. And I think you could use it just as a regular eyeshadow, but I'm gonna use it as a base eyeshadow. I'm flipping my mirror so I have my magnifier. Um, but this, these are 50% off on the website right now. And so they have several colors that are 50% off. And I thought, well, I've never had this color, so I might as well try. But it's just a light pink color. And it's just going to be a good base to apply either other eyeshadow or, you know, you could just do one other color if you wanted. And I can either do another splurred shadow or I can do regular shadows. Oh, thanks, Nora. Yeah, I just did. I just put some twists in it and then bobby pinned it. 
And if I was, um, I'm going to my in-laws, so I'll probably leave it. But if I was going to go out in public, I'd probably um, do a, a clip and just clip them all together. But yeah, I just twist it and put them in the back. Thought it was kind of fun. Just get it out of my face while I'm doing the video. And how are you doing, Nora? Is today a better day? If you're commenting, you guys, I will get to you in just a second. I just, I'm putting that eyeshadow on. Ha! Huh. It's telling me to bring some of you guys on live on the camera. Anybody want to join me live? We can talk about makeup. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know. Maybe we'll do some purple since I've got kind of this, I've got the pink base. Maybe we'll do a little bit of purple. And I just use my blending brush and I'm going to go just above my crease. I have hooded eyelids, so I have to go kind of higher than people with regular eyelids. I don't know what you call regular eyelids. Young. <laughs> Halfway better. Well, I guess that's good. And with these, these eyeshadows too, oh, I guess I could show you. I'm using this, um, this purple here. It's kind of a lighter purple. It's a flippant. But these brushes are awesome. This is a blending brush and you just, you know, these, all of these products are very pigmented. So you just use a little and the key is blending. So if you use different colors, just blend. And like I didn't do a lot on this eye, so I'm going to go back and just add a little bit more. You can always add more, but it's a lot harder to take away and then fix it than to do a little bit and then just add more. You know what I mean? And then I'm going to take this Smitten, which is like a little silver color. Oh, you guys, there's an antelope right behind my house. I'm going to turn this around. I don't know if you'll be able to, to see it. Oh, can I do it this way? Oh, look at that. I have an antelope right outside my house. How cool is that? Okay, that's your Montana living, folks. I was just sitting here and I saw it move. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's an antelope right there. Crazy. But so I'm going to take that kind of silver color and put it right in the corner of my lid just to brighten it up. And I could do this with the brow palette. I'll show you guys a little trick with the brow palette. It's kind of fun because you can use it as an eyeliner or you can use it as a highlighter, which is pretty fun. Did I set you guys back where you were? All right, and I need to bring some color down underneath too. All these brushes. Perks of having the business, I guess, you can get all these products and all these tools, right? So I'm gonna take that flippant, that purple, and I'm gonna put some underneath my eye. I'm gonna do eyeliner too, but I like to have a little color as well. And I'm starting a new thing too. I want to, I've heard a lot of girls doing this and I want to try and start doing 30 minute live parties. So, you know, usually it was like a 10 day party and you would do a bunch of posts and all that kind of stuff. And, um, I just had a really hard time doing that. I struggled with that because you had to post every day and come up with pictures and that kind of stuff. And, um, but with the live videos, it's like you start two days before and you can kind of post a couple of pictures of some products. Hey, Ashley, a couple of products that, um, you know, you want to show or that are on sale or whatever. And then the day of the event, you go in and you do live and you show the different products. So you can be like, this is primer and this is what it does. And, you know, and go through your kind of like what we're doing, just do a face and show people how to use the products. And then, uh, if they purchase them, whoever is the hostess gets all the rewards. So it's kind of fun. Okay, so let me show you guys the kudos because I'm going to start doing my brows and stuff. Um, so the kit is you get the, what is the name of this? Brow Artist Brush. 
And so it has the flat part, which is really cool, which I'll show you how to use that, and the angled part. You get the Eyebrow Obsession Palette, which comes with, and I'll show you guys how to do these, but um, this is the colors that you use for your brows. These are colors that you can use to highlight or fix if you go outside of your brow area. And then this is a wax to seal it. And they have three different ones. They have blonde, brunette, and dark. And I actually have the brunette. So um, back when I bought this, I had darker hair. I, I wasn't blonde, but um, it still works for me. It's fine. So doesn't seem as oil as my cheap. Oh, good. I'm glad you love the pencils. I do too. And I'm actually going to show the one. I think it's the one that you got too, Casey. It's the brown pencil and um, proper. And also with this kit, sorry guys, I squirrel. So you get this, the brush. You also get an eyeliner. There's 11 different eyeliners you can choose from. And then you get the Epic Mascara, which they have. Okay, that antelope is like coming my way. It's coming back towards the property. Um, you have, you can get the black or brown waterproof or the regular Epic, which is what I use. I haven't tried the waterproof, but Ashley and Casey, um, if you guys want, go ahead and post if you guys like the, the waterproof mascara. Cause like I said, I haven't tried it, but the kudos is $68. It would originally be 97 if you bought everything full price. And so you save, you know, $29. So it's kind of nice, but these are the pencils. So this is just the brown pencil. And I'm just gonna go in and go under where I put that purple. And they do have little sharpeners that you can get. They're $7.50, so you can just sharpen your eyeliners when you need them. We also have lip pencils too, so you can use that for both. And I usually do black eyeliner, but I figured I was gonna show you guys a little tip with the brow palette and it's brown so you can use the brow palette as an eyeliner but like I said since you get the eyeliner too I figured I'd show you guys this and I usually use a liquid black eyeliner sorry I see the screen moving up so if you guys are talking I'm missing it here okay you love the waterproof haven't gone swimming or anything but lasts all day that's awesome okay good to know and somebody said hi. Hi, Tracy. Thanks for hopping on, you guys. And then I just tight line my eyelashes up there. I don't do the wing because I have the hooded eyelids, so you wouldn't be able to see them anyway. You just tried the Epic for the first time, and I love it. I have the waterproof, so is there. Oh, okay. I just want to try the regular Epic next time. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad you guys like it. Okay, so as far as the brows, you guys can make them as big and bold as you want to. I just kind of fill mine in because, um, I don't know, they're kind of light, but you can still see them. So what I do is I take that angled part of the brush and I do the dark. I just swipe the dark and I don't start at the very beginning of my brow. I do it a little bit past. So I don't want it super dark at the very beginning front part of my brows. Personal preference. And a lot of people, and then I'm going to do dark again and just kind of fill it in. Some people like really big, bold eyebrows and I just don't. So I'm not going to dip it back into the color. I'm just, I went all the way down and then I just brought that color forward just so it's a little bit lighter in the front. And then I'm gonna go in and take that light and just do a little bit right there in the very beginning of it. I just like it lighter in the front part. And if you mess up, I've got a little tip for you here. So, but see how you can use these colors for an eyeliner. So all you would do is use the same brush and you would use it as an eyeliner. And again, I'm not starting at the very beginning. I'm starting further back. I have my lake radio on, but it's not really playing lake music. It's playing other stuff. Hopefully you guys can't hear it. I don't want to get in trouble with Facebook and get thrown in Facebook jail. 
But so I basically just trace my eyebrows. I don't do anything crazy. And then I'm gonna take the lighter color and go in the front. Okay, so I kind of went a little bit, I got a little bit off right there. So I'm just gonna take that white and I'm just gonna go and trace over that and it gets rid of it, so it fixes it. And then you can use this as a highlighter. So, and I could use my finger too, but you can just go right under your brow bone with that pink or the white and use it as a highlighter. So there's different uses for this stuff. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that flat part and I'm gonna go into the wax and you just pull some of that wax on there and then you put it on your brows and that's gonna hold the brows together. So they're not gonna smudge or go anywhere. And everybody always laughs and says brows are sisters, they're not twins, so your brows never really look this, you know, they're not identical. But see how they're just a little, they pop a little bit more, they're not super crazy or out of control. But um, like I said, some people like to bring them all the way down and, and bring them all the way out, that's totally fine. The other option if you want to is they have the setting spray. So once you get done with your whole face, you can put on the setting spray and then that will hold as well. And next will be the mascara. And if you guys have questions on any of the products or the kudos or whatever, just let me know and I will answer any questions. There's never any pressure. Um, I just wanna help you guys if you have questions or anything. They're all, the um, the powder is, cre is sorry, the color is powder and then the wax is obviously like a creamy wax. So these are all powder. They're kind of a pressed powder. And then this is your wax. So you can just kind of see, they're just like a little kind of a creamy powder color. But yeah, it's really cool. They work really well. And then you can have the, they also have the little brush too, if you guys like those better. So they have the little brush where you can brush up your eyebrows and so I could brush them down. I don't ever like brush them back and forth anyway, unless, you know, I have a real crazy morning and they're like, woo, then I'll do that. And then it has the little pencil on the bottom. You're welcome, Nora. See, I want to answer questions for you guys because I have the product so I can, I can show you. Okay, so this is the Epic Mascara. It's just the one step. Uh, they do have the two-step mascara but the epic is by far the better seller in my opinion um, none of my customers actually buy the fiber lashes anymore they are still available so I know that there are people that like them I prefer one step I just want to do the one step and this epic is insane look at that that mascara is just awesome. And it's only, that's only one coat. And then I just go over and make that a little thicker. And they do have the lash serum too that I've been using. I don't use it every night. I try, I try and do it every night, but um, my makeup doesn't always come off every night. Just to be honest with you ladies, I just don't. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but whatevs. That's life. Um, but the lash serum you put on at night and it's, um, it extends your lashes and I definitely would say it has done that. So, uh, and I, like I said, I don't use it every night. So this is my lip liner. So it's a little, it needs a little sharpie sharpie. Yeah, the Epic is way better than the fiber lash. I agree. I just, I think that the Epic was the way to go. And then let's see, what color is this? I have the, I'm going to do the powdered lipstick. But I think the other one is the one I was looking for that is the peach. Ah, there it is. Yeah. 
So these powder ones, I did a video the other day on those, and it's really cool. They're just a powder, and they go to a lick, um, to a cream. And this one is a peach, and I don't even know if it has the actual name of the oh, Capricious is the peach one, and then Sierra Lip Liner is pretty much identical. So I'm gonna put that all on. I'm gonna put it all over my lips because that's just gonna make it stay longer. So I do line it. I don't know if you guys, this is how people do it. You just do the X. So that'll define your little Cupid's bow. I don't know about you guys, but I have crooked lips, so I have to like draw in part of it. So that is the lip liner. And I'll try and show you guys the powder. I don't I don't think it's going to show up on the camera, but it it's just a powder and it comes out on the little tip there and you put it on your lips and it turns to cream. And it was funny, I was told the other day by another rep that she inhaled the red and she goes and ended up looking like a bloody nose. So she goes, whatever you do, don't inhale the powder. And I was like, note to self, okay. I'll not inhale the powder. And it just goes on, you guys, it's so creamy. It's, it's almost like a water cream or something. I don't know how to describe it, but super silky on those, I love it. There, and then I think all we have next is the setting spray. Did I forget anything? I think we got it all. And that smells really good. I'm one of those people that I absolutely hate when hairspray gets on my face, you know, when you're spraying it and it gets on your face, I like cringe, I'm like, ooh, and I have to wipe it off and then I'll have to redo my makeup. This setting spray is, I was worried about it because I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but it works great and it smells good and it's not sticky. So um, you just spray that on and then your makeup's gonna stay all day, it's not gonna smear off. Um, obviously your lipstick you're gonna have to reapply because you're gonna be eating and drinking, but Otherwise, it stays on, and thanks so much for all you guys popping on. I really appreciate it, and for all of you guys that engaged and made comments. And then if you guys have um, questions, you can always message me. And if you don't see the little live box up top, it's replayed, so you can just do replay and then ask me a question if you want. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Oh, maybe your lips are sister lips, not twinning. Exactly, yes. <laughs> just like the eyebrows. <laughs> Bye, guys.